Hey everybody, welcome to the mtbmichigan.com YouTube channel. My name is Rob. If you haven't been here before, I am an associate pastor at a small church in Warren and I'm an avid mountain biker and uh, I try to take you on adventures on different trails and just tell stories about uh, my history of mountain biking and, and things that I hope are relevant and make you smile along the way. Um, today, I'm not really riding any specific trail I guess I'm at Stony Creek which is kind of just the story of my life right now um, it kind of keeps me around right around the house um, and it's the hottest day of the year so it's not going to be an exceptional ride but today what I want to do is kind of um, introduce you to a playlist I'm going to be adding to this channel um, and then from there I'm going to be issuing a couple of challenges so stick around and we'll go from there now, if you can't tell, we're going uphill. And if you haven't noticed, I mean, I think in some of my vid other videos, you kind of get the understanding about who I am, that I've come from a pretty varied background in biking, and I really like to play on the bike. But maybe you haven't noticed, and maybe the speed of me climbing a hill will accentuate that. I'm a big guy. I may like to shred, but I'm a big guy. And I've been asked about the challenges of being a big biker. So I'm gonna be uh, creating a playlist specifically to talk about that. Uh, it's, it's something that I guess for some people we can joke around about it and have fun with it. I try to, but you know, not all of us who are big want to be big. And some of us are still little guys <laughs> trapped in big guys' bodies. And so the idea behind the playlist I'm going to be doing is, is talking about some of those challenges and kind of bringing home some of the hardships that we face as bigger guys and uh, kind of bring some awareness to what it's like. And then from there, just to use that to encourage you, if you're a bigger person, a Clydesdale or whatever, to encourage you to get out there and keep going. It's not always easy and there are some there are some special people along the way that'll kind of make you feel bad for being big but for the most part the cycling community is a is a good community people mean well to try hard to encourage you along the way so what i want to do is help encourage you myself as a fellow big guy and uh Maybe along the way, those of us who are big, drop a few pounds, not be so big, and uh, have some laughs. Laughs are good. I guess mountain biking has a term for people like me. Um, it's called Clydesdales. And a Clydesdale, I guess, is anybody who's over 200 pounds um, in a racing class is where you usually see that term. Anybody who's over 200 pounds. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been to some races with some Clydesdales, and when you're lining up with guys who look like they just stepped out of the WWE, and you look like you just stepped out of Pillsbury's Dough Factory, you don't feel so good. I think the term Clydesdale means well, and kind of gives you a sense, but let's face it, there are some really fit guys that are 200 pounds, really fit people that are 200 pounds. I want to talk to guys who are bigger than that. So the playlist will be about that. Um, like I said, I have kind of grown up wanting to shred. And 
we're going to take a little time and do that. We're going to take a little time and talk about the challenges of doing that. And we're going to take a little time to learn how to do it better. And go from there. So again, I just want to reiterate, I'm a bigger guy. Um, I guess I, if there's a super Clydesdale, that would be me. I'm well, well over 250. I've had a lot of sickness, a lot of injuries that have, had, that have helped get me in this predicament. But I assure you, I am out here year after year trying. Um, and, and, you know, if you know me as a person, you know that year after year some kind of calamity befalls me and, and makes it hard. But I am trying. So with that, I want to issue the first challenge on the apparently hottest day of the year on the top of Mount Sheldon and at Stony Creek. First challenge is this. It's called the Fat Friendly Challenge. And the Fat Friendly Challenge is simply this. If you see a larger person, it's actually twofold. If you see a larger person on the trail, don't worry about your Strava KOM. You can get that any day. But if you see somebody big, take the time to encourage them. Um, you don't have to go into excessive depth of, you know, telling them how to eat and everything like that. A lot of people are sensitive. A lot of people are doing everything they can do. But, you know, take the time to encourage them for what they are doing. And that's being out there exercising. So that's part one of that. The other part of the fat friendly challenge is honestly... If you know somebody big, take the time to encourage them. Take the time to just see if maybe they want to go get on a bike, go for a ride around the block. Heck, you ride on the ride around the block is with somebody to encourage them goes a long way. So that is the two parts of the first challenge, the fat friendly challenge. And that's just be encouraging to larger people that you see on the trail. Again, I want to say, you know, when I issued the first part of the challenge, which is the Fat Friendly Challenge, I want to make sure that people understand that I appreciate everybody that's been encouraging to me along my journey as a Clydesdale, as a big rider. Um, and I just want to encourage us all in the cycling community and abroad to do the same with everybody. So it's not that I feel any one group is, you know, out of line or anything like that. It's just the fat friendly challenge is just to make sure that make sure that we're all friendly to bigger riders as they go about their their ride. I know I know personally, I feel like an inconvenience on the trail. Sometimes I am incredibly slow at climbing. I'm incredibly slow overall on the trail. Unless it comes to a downhill and I usually can hold my own. But I know that can be tiresome for group rides. Which is why I often ride alone. Um, and I'm sure if I was in a group ride with all the group rides here in Southeast Michigan, I'm sure people would be welcoming and accommodating. Um, but it's that's a self-conscious thing. That's why I think the Fat Friendly Challenge is important. Even me who, you know, can make jokes about himself constantly and, and the like. I mean, even I get sensitive about my size and the hindrances that it causes when it comes to other people. So again, be encouraging to bigger people. Invite them to group rides, invite them to whatever, and make the time to be with them on those rides. So that's that one. Again, just wanna make sure that people know I do appreciate when I, when I get encouraged on the trail. And, and I hope we extend that same courtesy to other people like me. That's, that's why the challenge number one is the fat friendly challenge. So before I get into the second challenge, let me, let me set a little background for you. Again, I, one time, 
I was a co-leader of a 12 and 24 hour endurance race team with my friend Nate Bush. And uh, yeah, I was bigger then, I wasn't this big, but I was bigger then and didn't do as many of the miles as the other guys. I was the fourth guy usually. So I was the support guy to make sure the other three got some long rest. But, you know, I've mentioned there's a way I like to ride. And then there's a thing I have to do. And I have to do some longer, longer distance cross country type rides. Just for my health. Some medium effort, longer distance rides. And honestly, I mean, I had a pretty bad car accident in 2014, followed by a really bad one for my son. It was near fatal, um, which took up a lot of time in 2015. And then 2017, I ended up in the hospital for something. Last year, I ended up in the hospital for something, potential heart attack. Um, you know, so different things every year you know this the mystery cellulitis infection that spread through my whole leg blah 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 <clears throat> but uh every year it's been something and honestly i think it's we'll just say for sure since 2017 i don't think i've broken 20 miles so there's the things I like to do. Ride down hills fast, jump over stuff, follow rabbit trails and see where they lead, you know, that kind of stuff. And then there's the things I have to do, and that's get some distance. And like I said, since at least 2017, possibly 2015, I don't think I've broken 20 miles on a bike. So that's really going to lead us to what the second challenge is, which I'll tell you about in just a second. Right after this downhill. On that little piggy. So again, back to the playlist that I'm going to be doing on Clydesdales. I'm going to take a few, few minutes of, uh, you know, to, uh, going to do a few videos specifically on being a Clydesdale rider. I've learned a lot of things over the years, and I'm going to talk about some of the challenges that I face when I ride, things that I hope will help motivate bigger riders, um, things that I hope will help build some skills in bigger riders on the trail um you know that there's stuff that that all riders encounter but they just seem to be a little different with bigger riders um so i'm that's what that's what the the clydesdale playlist or whatever i end up calling it the big guy playlist or health and fitness something like that you know that's really what it's going to be about is going to be specifically to to address some of the basic things that will help a big person have a better ride. And since it's so doggone blazing hot, I am going to issue the second challenge. And like I said, on it, while I was riding, I don't think since like 2017 that I can for sure say, I don't think I've busted 20 miles on either my other remedy or my... Um, Farley, my fat bike. I've come close. I might have done it, but I don't think I've really done more than more than 20 miles on any given day. I know I've done some 17s and 18s and stuff like that, but so what I'm going to do is issue the fat pusher challenge. And sorry, there's some on the ground that was moving, and I'm going to walk this way. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's over there somewhere. I am going to issue the fat pusher challenge. 
And what the fat pusher challenge is, is I'm going to do it over Labor Day weekend. And here, I'll, I'll issue an open invitation. I'm going to go to River Bend's Trail in Southeast Michigan, in Shelby, Michigan, to be exact. And I can put a link down in the, in the description on this video for the fat pusher challenge. I'm going to go to River Bend's because it's an easy, easier trail and not too far if any mechanicals happen. I am going to push myself to ride more miles, probably on my fat bike just to make it the fat pusher challenge. I'm gonna push myself to ride more miles than I have this year. Of course, my personal goal is to hit 30, um, which I, I, it's seven and a half mile loop roughly, so I don't know. I can't think, I can't math right now. It would be somewhere seven times four is like 28 laps so I, I would be doing four to five laps I guess is what I'm what I'm gonna be going for um, I'm gonna do this over Labor Day weekend I will have details to follow if you want to you can always if you want to be involved you can always uh, you know post comment tell me you want to be involved and I'll make sure that I set up some kind of a group on on my mtbmichigan.com website or, or, or make sure I post information regularly there or post on the MTB Michigan page on Facebook um, or make sure I add it into upcoming videos as well. But um, yeah, if you wanna be a part of it, it's gonna be Labor Day weekend um, and I'm just gonna go and do that. Now, if you can't be a part of it, but you wanna, you wanna be supportive, well, feel free to leave me comments and encourage me. Um, but if you really wanna be encouraging and follow the first challenge encourage a big buddy to go out and ride with you over labor day weekend and you know you could just do we could do like a hashtag uh on instagram saying hashtag rob's fat pusher um and then that way we could see if any riders from anywhere else in the u.s canada or wherever uh does it and over labor day weekend encourage a big guy to go riding with you and do a little more than they've done before. If you ride a fat bike, encourage yourself to push your fat bike a little further. If you, uh, if you are a big guy, know what your max is and see if you can do one more, one more bit than your max. You know, that's kind of the idea of the fat pusher. So, um, um, that's about it. That is, that's what, what my idea for the second challenge is, again, um, feel free to like, subscribe, share. Um, I'll be posting still ride videos and, and things like that and, and dirt sermons, but I'll also be adding to this Clydesdale thing to talk about, uh, about different things, different Clydesdale issues, different big rider issues. Um, like I said, thank you for watching, like, so subscribe, share. Tell your friends, encourage the both challenges, the, the Fat Friendly Challenge and the Fat Pusher Challenge, and uh, live the faith, ride it out. Hope to see you on the trail.